quotation marks. I, I'm sure Kenny wouldn't be here. So always exciting to see what big plays he has. Just for activating the seed on Hamcha alone. Yes, just. I think that's the. He has to do it right in order to get the unburden and yeah. the trigger on the Hamcha. So, uh, probably we'll see that in DD. As we do, we are going to see straight away the psychic seed of Hamcha with the psychic surge in DD going to immediately trigger off this unburden from the Hamcha. Yeah, so key point for Kenny there is that his uh, extreme speed is not going to be an option if he has to hit the DD because uh, DD is grounded. And his, and his flutter mate is probably going to be slower than his Hallucha as well with the plus 2 speed and the unburden. Yeah, we didn't be... Hallucha is the fastest thing I feel right now. Doesn't really threaten a knockout on the flutter mate. Yeah, the question is, does Kenny respect this enough to try to make some switches and does Ian Kiet go for the, the aggressive sword stance right from the get-go? Yeah, if he goes for the skill type here, there's not much Kenny can do against him. Mm. At most, he can upgrade with the Dragonite, but it's spread attack. And the uh, flutter mate is mostly... might have to knock itself into Shadow Ball here. But then probably Shadow Ball that it might go into a follow me from the ADD, which would be immune to the ghost attack. Yes. So definitely a very tricky situation for Kenny from the get-go. Really gonna test his experience with the format with a relatively new, fresh pairing as well. Oh, Kenny goes for the, for the Terra and no Terra on the Hallucha side. So no steel type coming out for him yet. But Dragonite going for the flying type. Gonna have a very strong Terra Blast immediately. Does he go for the boost? But even with a Dragonite boost, he's still gonna be slower than Hallucha next turn. Well, uh, Yinkai gonna play the safe move here, gonna go for the follow me. Try to get it, just oh, goes but acrobatics does not get the KO actually. Strong attack, and just Kenny just chooses to lock into the safe Dazzling Gleam. Oh, and because of not the non Terra type, that that um, Dazzling Gleam is going to be super effective on the Holusha. And the Terra Blast is going to go to Diddy, gets the knockout as well. And now suddenly, um, this Holusha is taking a whole load of damage, but does get the free switch in uh, to try to pair something with the uh, Holusha now. So choosing not the Terra there, the perhaps thinking the Terra is more valuable, or perhaps seeing that Kenny might read into the Terra on turn one. A Terra can use this chosen this long to do the very safe spread dazzling gleam for his specs fluttering. And uh, he's rewarded with the knockout on the DD. Yeah, to be honest, with that damage output, um, if he had just gone for the Terra fairy, that uh Dazzling Gleam would have just picked up a clean knockout on Palucha. So he can actually really fortunate to get away with that, um, with the Halucha surviving there. And uh, now, especially since he didn't Terra, he is still a flying type. And he is still vulnerable to the extreme speed in secondary from the Dragonite. 
So at, but at this point, you don't really want to Terra because you're just taking so much damage. So it might be a very easy actually speed to that slot. Chinese chooses to switch out the fucking main now, though. So he's not going to do the lane, but he's done the damage now, chooses to go into the Gyarados, gets the Intimidate on the Chen Pao. Very important. And about the Jump. Yeah, that, probably this would help the uh, Dragonite definitely survive this trend with the uh, multi scale attack as well. But Chen Pao is going to go for Protect here, trying to scout out what Kenny is going to go oh, for. No action speed for Kenny, so Acrobatic yeah. into what was the Flutter main. And Dragonite follows up with another Terra Blast. And you I do see the animation go off, so it is going into the Aruja. I do wonder if it can eat, uh, Oh, I guess the, the Terra hasn't gone off yet on in Ken's side of the field. Yeah, so so playing going, safe. yeah, playing it safe, they're not going for the extreme speed in case uh, he goes for the Terra that turn. No. But, you know, Aruja, one of the big, bigger unknowns on the team, now is suddenly down. The sword, the third sword stand is no longer there. The unburdened double speed is no longer there. Uh, this champ power with the sash attack, though, um, is going to be slightly problematic. Well, probably for Inkyas, man. If he wants to ice spinner the Dragon Knight, he's going to be taking the terrain away from his armor rouge. Removing the boost to armor rouge stacking attack. Ooh, yeah, that's true. At the same and time, he doesn't really oh, have anything else. Go, oh, he does go for the wide guard. So doesn't want to get let Udo, I guess. Bulldoze or Earthquake. Ice spinner is going to go off. Not going to KO through the multi-scale. Yeah, with the yeah, as well. With the activity and the Terra type, um, removing the Dragon weakness. So... And we are going to see this Terra flying once again. Probably into the champ power card to break the Sash. Yep. This and yeah, re really good target selection by Kenny here. This champ power having burn is protect the previous turn, a really right target. And uh, but he Armorage might be able to. Oh, and Armorage with the switch in as well, right? So dealing absolutely zero damage that turn. And um, tough to see how you can recover from this with the spec spawner main still in the back. Yeah, able you able to lock into mm, Going for the white guard there, covering of course the earthquake from Dragonite as well as the Moodles from Gyarados. But at that point in the game, Kenny didn't have to take the risk of going for a spread attack. Yeah, so the DD is no longer there, so there's no point in pressing those spread, spread moves. Yeah, I, gonna, I think in game I had to switch up the leads. The Orucha was fast and went first, but didn't get much out of that turn. Yeah, now we see that Kenny even brought the Gyarados in the back. It was very easy to such a great target selection into uh, into his Pokemon in turn 1 Kenny was in the driver's seat of the get and he never let up and that's kind of the story of this format right? it's very powerful and hard to things like Spike Splatter Pain things like uh, and Pao as well as the kind of turn 1 and Dragon Eye and things like um, even things like Mr. and Dragon Eye so a lot of hard to take things up Doesn't really want to block his own 
priority moves. Yeah. So we are going into game two here. Can he not really under any pressure to switch things up? Yeah, I think he's moving really well. Fine. There. Try to make <laughs> as big a play as possible. So this might this might go really well or really badly. But yeah, flying press into the off firm does a good chunk. Not gonna get a knockout though. But at this health of the uh, off firm can no longer shed tail and doesn't really have options to damage to Kenny The interesting thing is that this substitute on the water main still hasn't been broken yet. Oh, yeah, I already passed a bit late. No, <laughs> I, 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 I think it is a bit late. Kenny perhaps hoping that the... He can go after the, the, the sub, yeah. Which is not too bad, I guess. Like, I don't know what more fun was doing anyway. Yeah, at this point in the game, I think Kenny has to try and get well. Yeah. Like, try and get back. Like, at, I guess his idea was to get some defense moves off and then start doing some body press or heavy... Uh, yeah, some body presses off. Um, against this, it would be super effective as well. Yep. Against the right now. But he will get a kill now if he goes right now, but he, I don't think he's gonna get a chance. Because mm. Desiree will pick off the AD, so even if he really tries to follow me, the body, the body press will go into the body chart. So, so if you're a UK, you're definitely looking to target down this one, which has, even though it's low HP, it's still a threat. Oh, wait, is that a double for that? That's because my body is. Fine press, but fine press into the offer, go pick it off. Okay, I think that's I think risk, yeah. yeah. Get Kenny down to the last two Pokemon, find out what his last Pokemon is, and then plan for that. And he, I mean, Kenny's going for that anyway, but what it, it means is that Inke will have the option to follow me next turn. But in this case, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't he just pick out a double knockout on the following turn? On both the. Oh, actually, it might not be the case. Hey, yeah, Halusha might survive. Ah, uh, 155, that is a damage roll. 55 times 3 is 165, so um, possible to pick up this KO here. Yeah, but he needs to be sure not to press extreme speed. Yes. The second arena is still up. Holucha is now on the ground. It is still time and no longer flying. Yeah, actually, now that you pointed out, I don't think you want to be able to It's a very curious double protect. I, I thought you would want to go down Yeah, you actually. want Champa to come in. Yeah. 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 Uh, strange. Okay, Honestly, a bit strange. He got yeah. it too. Yeah. I mean, you could have failed anyway. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. This <laughs> but he got it. I, I don't think. He, I don't think he should have gotten it. Yeah. So now this is yeah. yeah honestly, a bit awkward. Yeah, but this does nothing, right? It's, he needs a low damage roll on this. Damage yeah, on this. Uh, doesn't. He should. Let's go for the stuff. He doesn't. Goes for the dragon knight. Still not giving any respect to the substitute. What does he have in the back that can handle this? Amaru just does resist. Amaru just resist the fairy to that. That is shit. Oh, he oh, does get the roll. the roll! roll. But actually, Dragonite went for the. I'm Dragonite. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't Dragonite, Kenny. Don't Dragonite. <laughs> this is not the time to Dragonite. Okay, he goes for the Terra Blast. Normal Knight. We'll get a knockout, even though it's not very effective on the steel on the but uh, yeah, that was not the yeah, time okay, to Dragonite. So, <laughs> pretty much what we expected how this turned to finish knockout, up. Yeah. Double knockout, 2 2 2. So we'll see what he can spy on tomorrow. So I guess, yeah, I guess they- Oh, and oh, yeah, oh, yeah. my god! That's why. Oh, oh he didn't bring it! Never mind! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, if he, if, if he reckon it makes a lot of sense, you just want to leave the bottom in there, but he didn't bring the armor. Uh, Essential doesn't resist, neither resist the legendary. Yeah, and Fluttermane still outspeeds the channel. Oh, right, he, has, he gets the speed from Terra. Uh, yeah, so. The Sandy Shock should be faster now, so he won't be able to double target and get rid of the Fluttermane. Yeah, yeah. And Shenpao with the Sash will be able to take two attacks. So this is. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, the, he's guaranteed to survive, so this Dragon Deck. He's not gonna get it. He goes to the extra speed, Tactary has gone off. But yeah, he does. He's able to double target into the substitute. And oh, can he KO though? I don't think Shenpao can yeah. KO the Fluttermane. Okay, at least he got the it's, break. It's fairy type now, right? So he can't use um, the dark type move also. Oh, he goes for Dragonite. <laughs> no, he no, goes for the Fluttermane, doesn't get the KO! That's huge! That's a, this might be a double knockout. No, okay. yeah, but, that, but that's he can't double target with, that's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double with the Sandy Shock. And I think this actually still will him off. That is unfortunate. I think he was so close. I mean, again, Kenny kind of walked into that game too, on his own. Shouldn't, it shouldn't have been that close, I think, but definitely not a few curious plays going on. Kenny, of course, exhibiting that same sportsmanship we know and love him for. And on his first match back in VGC after six years? Kenny, how many years? Five, six, seven, seven years! Finishes with a 2-0.
uh, very commanding victory there. And uh, yeah, you know, showing he knows how to play the new stuff as well. He, he didn't get the protect, he wins, right? If he doesn't get the protect, he really goes down. Champion comes, comes in. No, but he still can't KO the. Yeah, he can't double target. He can't double target into the. Yeah, always goes first. Yeah, yeah. goes first. He just still doesn't have enough damage to pick off the butter main, which is the main problem. He doesn't have a super effective type attack on the fairy. What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's only stab. It's only stab and the terror blast. But it's why he wasn't true. Yeah, he had nothing to. He had nothing to. to kill the fairy on the main. Yeah, I think he, he kind of got scared off bringing the Palafin, didn't want to bring yeah. the Palafin into the, into the, into the potential Gyarados, but you know, it's still really good into the Orthon with the Tinglu, really and did. he needed damage, basically, to, to pick off the KO earlier, which is really unfortunate. Like, really well managed earlier game, made the, made the appropriate adjustments that was needed, but unfortunately just fell a little bit short there. Um, you know, it's, a, it's a, still early on. But he didn't make adjustments, I think he wins as well, because then Amuru comes and just wipe us the do a limit also. Oh. Then yeah. Chenko just picks up Dragon Knight and the uh, Volume can't do anything. So yeah, actually the adjustments didn't pay off as well. Yeah, I mean I meant more like the turn one adjustments mm. than just going going straight for the sword stance instead of and trying to pick off, off yeah. damage and tear up steel as well. Yeah. Uh, interesting set as I think players are still getting used to all these new tools and mechanics that, that are available in regulation C. So it's uh, with the World Championship qualifiers coming up, you know it's um, Everyone's gonna have to really start recalling those stakes and flying towards uh, higher stakes tournaments. Well, I mean, the stakes today are pretty high too, I heard. So. <laughs> and a more viable end result than the yeah. qualifier itself. So, congratulations to Kenny. I didn't say that either. <laughs> um, but yeah. Just one and zero. The is soft. I'm in a good position. A good start for today. I only, I only start through on like triple. just put on the key. <laughs> Alright, and we'll be back soon and uh, with more games later today. See you soon. No, it, it does have